Florida's coral reef is the only tropical reef system in the continental United States. It's also the third largest in the world. But the beauty is vanishing. In just one decade, the reef lost nearly half its coral cover. The system stretches more than 300 miles along Florida's coast. Manuel Mahorges is on the boat off Key Biscayne to show us how citizen scientists are helping efforts to save the reef. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. What lies beneath us is an important and delicate part of Florida's ecosystem. Massive structures made out of coral like this. But parts of the reef look like a forest with no trees. So scientists, along with the help of some certified divers, are trying to replant and regrow the reef. The beauty of South Florida's coastline isn't just skin deep. Below the water lies a crucial habitat of coral, home to hundreds of species of marine plants and animals. Stephanie Schottmeyer, a University of Miami marine biologist, is working to save them. Over the past 30 to 40 years, we've seen drastic declines in coral cover, and it's mostly been due to climate change. We set out with Schottmeyer to see the Rescue a Reef program in action. Scientists who are certified divers are replanting parts of the reef with the help of citizen scientists. Citizen scientists are members of our local community that are interested in participating and contributing to any type of science program. And in our case, it's coral restoration. And you've got a waiting list? We have a waiting list. The first task is to collect recently grown coral from these so-called trees the group has installed just off Key Biscayne. Once they bring them up, the divers are taught how to secure the harvested coral onto the ocean floor. Just pull that zip tie as tight as you can. Then it's time to find a spot to replant them. And doing that is like underwater gardening. Putting down stakes and securing the new coral all while trying not to drift into other replanted coral that's already growing. Here we're doing a stress test. But it's on dry land where coral biologists like Ross Cunning work to ensure these corals survive challenging conditions. We are studying the stress resistance of corals. We're trying to identify which corals are able to withstand warming temperatures. Aside from saving the ecosystem, Cunning says billions of dollars are at stake from fishing to tourism if the reef does not survive. It also helps protect against beach erosion and another major threat to Florida, hurricanes. Coral reefs act as a natural barrier and when hurricanes approach, they act as a first line of defense against storm surge. Rescue a reef is slowly trying to rebuild that line of defense. How many did you get planted? It's about six. This is Jessica Glenn's ninth dive. I live here. I'm a Floridian, so I want to save it. And Natalie Myrtle's first. I've been wanting to do this for over a year, <laughs> and it finally worked out today. And without ocean, well, there's no life. Rescue Reef is not the only program working to replant the coral reef. Stephanie Schottmeyer told us there is a network of scientists and divers that have already replanted tens of thousands of corals a year, but they have a long way to go. Gail? All right, Manuel Bohorkas, we thank you. Always good to see you, Manny.